Welcome to the Potter Blog site, January 22nd, 2014. Now, we expect H7N9 to be in the United States by Valentine's Day, uh, primarily resulting from a spike that is coming in uh, China from a uh, celebration of the Chinese New Year. Uh, we've uh, developed this chart here, which has got some quite a lot of detail on Chinese holidays and how they've related to spikes in H7N9 uh, infections in China by province. Uh, let's give you a little more detail for a second, but we'll go to in a much more detail about this chart in another video. Uh, the important thing to understand right now is is that this chart clearly indicates that spikes in H7N9 are primarily tied to paid national holidays in China. Uh, the most recent spike is from uh, New Year's Day, which was a uh, one paid day off. Uh, the outbreak actually got its start last year as a result of Chinese New Year. This year, uh, the spike really hit off again as a result of uh, one paid day off on New Year's Day. Uh, January 31st through February 6th, the Chinese have seven paid days off to celebrate Chinese New Year. Uh, a simple parametric analysis a static parametric analysis indicates that the rates of H7 9 infection resulting from that will be approximately seven times greater than what occurred uh, as a result of uh, what happened on January 1st. Now what this really needs is a dynamic analysis from a discrete event simulation. It would give much greater insight into the, epidemi into the epidemiology of what's going on here. Fortunately, we don't have the time or the budget to do that. So obviously the end result is, the risk is, is that it's much more likely that H7N9 will enter the United States by that time period. Uh, whether or not it makes a foothold and continues to spread in the United States, that's harder to say. And we will discuss that in another follow-on video where we go into this chart in much greater detail. Because uh, there's some very interesting things happening in here. Be prepared.